Brianna. I'm here at Unite today. I'll be teaching a Unite product knowledge class. I can't wait to get started. I'm super excited. But a little bit before I get started, I'm going to tell you about myself, how I got introduced into Unite, and what Unite story is. So a little bit about myself is that I've been doing hair for about four to five years. I'm a very young stylist, but I'm also very passionate about what I do. I've done session styling purely just for three years. I do that at Blow the Blow Dry Bar in Austin, Texas. And what we do there is do every kind of styling known. We do everyday hairstyling to bridal hairstyling all the way to festival hairstyling. And there is when I was introduced into Unite Unite was the first line that I completely fell in love with from shampoo to hairspray. And the reason why I enjoy it so much is because it is versatile and it is effective for every type of event that I do and it gives it the longevity that I need to go through the days that I need it to go through. Unite was actually founded by a hairdresser himself. His name is Andrew Dale. He started when he was 16 at a Vidal Sassoon salon in London. He made his way to the States, found himself in Los Angeles, working at Beverly Hills for a lot of different celebrities. So he worked with a lot of different magazines, a lot of different editorial shoots, as well as fashion shoots, and that's where he was truly inspired to make a line that was for hairstylists. So that is what Unite is. It is a line made by hairstylists for hairstylists to make hairdressing easy. Another part of Unite's mission is to inspire, create, and educate. And from there, he found himself in San Diego, and that's where Unite was founded in 2003. The educating part comes a lot from their headquarters, where they hold continuing education classes that range all the way from men's haircuts to creative coloring cuts to, again, session styling, and they also hold global sessions. Well, Global Sessions is, is a huge event where multiple hairstylists come in and, tips, and teach new tips and tricks. And that's when we can really learn from each other the most. We also do a lot of fashion events, which is also hold, held around globally. So we do a lot of fashion events in Milan or London and New York. And the reason why it helps us as a, as a line, as a product line, is to help us stay on top of the trends and help us make those effective products for the next trends that are coming up. And that's something that I can really appreciate <laughs> being a session stylist, really having that, getting my hands on that next product that's coming out. Unite also is a luxury brand, a boutique brand, and a very exclusive brand. So what that means, it is a quality brand. And with that, it is not provided at your Walmart or at your Target. It is exclusive to the salon where you where you as a hairstylist can find it and your other clientele can find it. And that's another great benefit of Unite. Another great benefit of Unite is that we like to listen to our clients. Our clients are getting more educated. And with that, they like to know what's actually in our ingredients. So we do not carry paraffin-free, sulfate. We are paraffin-free, sulfate-free, and sodium chloride-free. And that's what another reason why we are such an effective product line. Because it offers our clients' needs as well as a hairstylist, hairstylist needs too. And with that, we'll go ahead and jump right into the product here. So Unite is actually broken down into systems. We have seven different systems. We have our seven second system, our cleansing system, and our specialty system. We also have our wet styling system, our hybrid system, and our dry system. We also <laughs> made one more system that will be released later this month, and I'll go ahead and touch base with that as we get there. But until then, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you one more brief little description on this line. It is broken down into colors, which is really, really great because it makes it easy for the client to read and to understand what they need. So our seven second system is our, our lighter blue. Our specialty and cleansing system are kind of random colors. Our wet styling system is black. Our hybrid system is a dark blue. And then our red system I mean, our finishing system is red or burgundy. 
you want to get a little more technical. And yeah, we'll go ahead and give you the first product that Unite made. The first product that Unite made is our 7 seconds leave-in conditioner detangler. And it's this little guy right here. This guy is definitely an essential. If I was paying, if I was doing a makeup, this would be my primer. I would prime the hair with this. I would go ahead and spritz it through the hair all the way from mids to ends. It's primarily used on wet hair, but you can also use it on dry hair because it's, it has a UV protectant in there as well as like a thermal protectant. And it's really, really, really good for those summer days when it's just hot outside or you just want to be by the pool or you just want to be by the beach. But you'll go ahead and spritz this to the hair from mids to ends and detangle it. The reason why it's called 7 seconds is because it only takes 7 seconds to make the first impression on somebody. <laughs> and it only takes 7 seconds for this product to actually start effectively working through the hair. And it's a great product and I'm really happy this was the first one that was made. It's definitely our staple item. Part of the 7 second system, we also have a shampoo and conditioner. What you'll start to notice with Unite's shampoos and conditioners is that the shampoo is actually a little bit bigger than the conditioner. So this is a 10 ounce shampoo and this is an 8 ounce conditioner because Unite knows. Unite knows that We'll be, we'll be using our shampoo a lot more than we'll be using the conditioner. Sometimes you got to get two shampoos in to get a real good lather. Once again, this is sulfate-free, uh, sulfate paraffin-free, and sodium chloride-free. What this does is this together, it's moisture, shines, and protects the hair. So the conditioner actually has a little bit of a thermal protectant in there. And the way you'll use these two is that you'll go ahead and use these at the shampoo bowl while the hair is wet. You'll work the shampoo through the roots of the hair and work a good lathering by massaging the scalp and then you'll rinse it, make sure it's completely out and then you'll go ahead and apply the conditioner from the mid lengths to the ends. You always want to kind of keep it off the scalp. And it's effective to any kind of hair type because it is a moisture shine protector. This is a daily essential if your client is looking for the most versatile product that she can find. These are great. From there, we'll go ahead and introduce you to the refresher. The refresher is actually one of my <laughs> the refresher is actually one of my favorite dry shampoos because it, it has a natural clay in there. It doesn't leave the hair with a chalky feel. It doesn't leave the hair um, <laughs> pretty much white at the top. It has a natural clay in it. So what you're going to want to do before you even start using it is that you're going to want to go ahead and shake it until you hear that ball to start rolling. And when you hear that ball rolling, that means all the product is getting mixed up. And then when you go ahead and apply it through the hair, again, this is good for any hair type. And when you apply it through the hair, you want to go ahead and spritz it about maybe four to six inches away from the root, massage it in. And you can start to feel your hair getting refreshed. It works a little bit more volume back into the hair once again. And this is definitely just an essential for any client that is looking for a little bit more of longevity in their hairstyle. From there, I have the 7 Seconds Glossing Spray. This 7 Seconds Glossing Spray is actually a newer product. I believe it's probably only about a year old. But it definitely has the hype to it. It is a dry finishing spray. It's a thermal protectant as well as an anti-humectant. So it covers a very large base of what any any kind of client is looking for, especially if you live in a little bit more of a, of a humid area. <clears throat> the way you're going to want to apply this product is about 4 to 6 inches away from the hair. And you can go ahead and see that. You can see the mist that goes on throughout the air and you're just going to go ahead and let, lightly let it settle into the hair and it just works effectively like that. You can put it on before you go in with a hot tool because it is a thermal protectant or you can go ahead and put it on before you use a hairspray because it is an anti-humectant and sometimes you just want to get that little extra humidity out and seal it in with a good hairspray. This is one of my favorite dry finishing sprays. And again, it's one of the newer products. From there, we'll go ahead and jump right in into our 
shampoo and our conditioners. So that's going to be our cleansing system. Again, they're sulfate free, paraffin free, and sodium chloride free. Also, with these shampoos right here, you can see again that the shampoo <laughs> bottle is a little bit bigger than the conditioner bottle. Right here, I'm holding the laser straight shampoo and conditioner. What this is, it creates a really smooth and sleek shine. It's pretty essential to any, um, any kind of hair type, but mostly if she has thick hair, maybe a little bit uh, more of a frizzier side. It's, the name doesn't give it its justice, but it's very good. And just like any other shampoo, you would go ahead and work it in from the scalp and massage it in, give it two shampoos if you need to, completely rinse it out, and then apply the conditioner. The, these conditioners as well have a thermal protectant in it, so whenever you're ready to start blow drying through the hair and styling it out, it gives it that little bit of protection that you're, you're going to need. These are definitely great shampoos to use. Again, if she has a little bit thicker hair, that needs a little bit more smoothness to it, or maybe to smooth out that frizz and everything, a good product. Right there, we'll go ahead and jump into our Boosta Shampoo and Conditioner. This is really, really great. These are, <laughs> both of these shampoos are very, very lightweight, and both of these conditioners are also lightweight, so it's going to keep the fullness to the hair. Boost is great if she has a little bit of finer hair and she's looking for like a little bit more body and a little bit more movement. You can really feel that at the root right there after you're done shampooing. And then once again, you'll go ahead and put the shampoo at the roots, really massage it in, and then you'll go ahead, rinse it out completely, and finish it with the conditioner right there. Great products. Because they are free of sodium chloride, paraffins, and sulfates, we use a coconut driven products for our shampoos so that you're still able to work in the lather and I think that's really <laughs> really genius actually. Right here we'll go ahead and to go into our new luxury shampoo and conditioner. This shampoo and conditioner is really really great. This is what makes us that quality line like I was like I was talking about before. These products consist of crushed pearl and honey. It's both in the shampoo and the conditioner. So if she has a little bit more of a compromised hair or, you know, it's a little bit drier or she's just looking for that extra little something to add to the hair, these are really, really good products to use. You luxury. And again, you work the shampoo in from the roots, lather it in, completely rinse it off, and go ahead and put in that conditioner from and from mids to ends and just really work it through, kind of decomb it a little bit. These are really, really great products, especially if you're looking for a little bit of a treatment to the hair. From there, we'll jump right into the specialty system. Our specialty system has our blonde shampoos. Our blonde shampoos are really, really great. What the blonde does is that it actually has a, a slight bit of sulfates in it just because you want to open the cuticle a little bit and help those toning agents out while you're doing your your blondies, while your blonde's hair. So if they want a little bit cooler of a tone, you would use the blonde and it'll help kind of cancel those tones out. This, this shampoo is a little bit more potent, I guess you can say. And you can see as you start to distribute the shampoo throughout the hair that you're going to need to work it in in a matter of 60 seconds and start working that lather in because it's going, it's effective. It's going to help really cancel those warmer tones out of the hair. After you're done shampooing the hair, you're going to want to use the Blonda conditioner. This one does not have any toning agents in it, but what it's going to do, it's actually going to help seal that product, uh, that shampoo in and really seal the cuticle and help it and help nourish it back to what it needs. Next we have our Weekender Shampoo. Our Weekender Shampoo is one of our 
top selling products out here at the blow dry bar because <clears throat> our clients come here to get their blowouts done and you know they're gonna need a good clarifying shampoo at the end of the day so this is a clarifying shampoo it is also really recommended by colorist because it just helps nourish the hair again and give it a really clean slate before they start their color process if you leave the if you leave the shampoo in for about five minutes it starts to work as a, pro a protein treatment and that's another reason why colors really 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 enjoy using the shampoo what else makes this shampoo really unique is that it's sulfate free paraffin free and sodium chloride free and that's really rare for a clarifying condition and shampoo because usually clarifying shampoos are a little bit more harsh on the scalp and a little bit more stripping but because this again is another coconut driven product it's going to work in a lather and not strip your natural oils, but really um, break apart that product buildup that you might have or any extra activities. If you run a lot, if you go to the gym a lot, this product will give you that clean slate that you're looking for again to start the week or to start that new hair color that you're going to go for. <clears throat> From there, we're going to go ahead and jump right into our wet styling products. I'm very excited about these because this is, this is what I do. I'm going to go ahead and start with our blow-in set that we have here. Our blow-in set would be like a foundation that you would put on your face. It gives it the perfect... Your perfect canvas that you're going to need to start styling with this is like again I said a wet product and where how you're going to want to apply it is from mostly from the mids to the ends because that's where you're going to want the most hold this offers really really good hold because it is a sculpting lotion so when you want to blow dry the hair straight it's going to move straight and because it's heat uh, it reactivates with heat when you want to go back in with an iron, it'll help hold the shape of the iron. So if you're putting a curl in it or putting a wave in it, it's definitely going to hold as well. I like to see this product works like an inside out hairspray. And the way it does that is that it actually absorbs into the cuticle first and works its way out. So if your client's not too fond of hairspray, this is definitely a good prepping product to use before you go ahead and start styling the hair. Definitely one of my essentials. I love blending this product with multiple products just to give it that strong hold that I really need. From there, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Boost Up because this is my other favorite product to use in the hair. What it is is that it's a, it's a misting volumizing spray. So you can distribute it pretty much all throughout the hair. It's good for any hair type that wants a good natural volume. This is also a buildable volume spray. So if you feel like you can use a little bit more during your blow, you can go ahead and spray that in. What this also has that a lot of people forget sometimes, it's that it has a very mild hold to it. So when you use this and you blend it with maybe the blow-in set, it gives you a really good hold throughout. You want, its target is to use at the root of the hair, about four to six inches away, but you can also use it from the mids to ends because it has that mild hold and it will give you a more fullness throughout. So that's your volumizing spray. <clears throat> right here, we have our laser straight. Laser Straight is a really, really good product for your girls that might have like a little bit of unruly hair that want it really, really smooth out. It doesn't technically make the hair straight, it just makes it smooth and more manageable. It's a good product to work through while it's wet. You can mix it a little bit with the blown set because the blown set again is a sculpting lotion. And when you just want a good, nice sculpted little bit of a bend at the end blowout, these are going to be... This is going to be one of your favorite products to use. You're going to go ahead and use this when it's wet. You're going to distribute it from the mids to the ends, and you're just going to work it through the hair. If you want that even distribution, go ahead and comb it through with a brush. It's, it's great. <clears throat> from there, I'm going to go ahead and introduce to you the Expand the Volume. 
the expanded volume has one of the stronger holds so this is more of this is your strongest holding volumizing wet styling product that we have <laughs> this product has this product is has a very little nozzle so the distribution can be a little bit tricky I don't know if you can see that right there but it is pretty uh, on point I guess so the sense of direction that you're going to want to use is just going to go ahead and be from the root you're going to use it about four to six inches away from the scalp and work it two inches upwards from the root to, to the mitt and when it does it creates good all over volume through the hair this will give you the most volume and again the strongest hold so this is a really really good product if she wants the most body with the most hold it's good for all hair types and this is the expand expand volume root energizer Here we have the Elevate Mousse. This is a really creamy mousse. It's not like your other mousse that you would use. You would go ahead and tip this upside down completely and distribute it into your hand as much as you need and go ahead and work it all the way from about the root to the mid to the ends, but you kind of want to lightly distribute it right here at the root because you don't want it to get it too heavy right there and it gives it an all throughout volume and all throughout body and hold. This also has a little bit of argan oil in it so if you're going through it with a round brush you're not going to feel that tug as you would with other mousses because it has that argan oil and it dries nice and soft and it's a memory foam in there so it's going to go ahead and hold whatever you put into it. So if you want to hold a nice smooth blowout, it'll do that with great fullness and body. And if you want to go ahead and go back in with an iron, it'll hold that curl. So this is not like your other mousses. It's a good volume foam to use for any kind of hair type that's looking for all over body and all over volume. Again, this isn't one of the most stronging, the most, <laughs> this again, this isn't the strongest holding product but it does have hold in it and it's really good to use for a prepping another prepping um, product for blowouts this right here is creamy paste this is one of the last products right here in the wet styling products creamy paste is a thickening product so that means if she has finer hair this product is going to work really really well for her and it, and it is a paste, so the way you're going to want to use it is that you're going to go ahead and go ahead and pick a little bit from the back of your thumb, get it a little bit warm, and distribute it through the hair while it's wet. It is a buildable product, so you always want to start off with a little bit and then start working it through the more you need it. So it's going to create a little bit more fullness where you want it. If you want it right there... She has like a nice big comb over and she wants a little bit more fullness on the side. You can go ahead and put that product in right there and create the illusion of it being a little bit thicker. If her hair is finer at the ends um, and a little bit more fuller at the top, go ahead and run it through the ends of the hair, blow it, blow it out, and it'll create more fullness and thickness right there at the ends if she needs it. So creamy paste. Creamy paste is one of my favorite products. <laughs> One of my favorite products to use because sometimes, you know, you just want, you just want more hair. From there, I'm going to go ahead and go into the hybrid products. The hybrid products, I'll go ahead and start. The hybrid products, I'm going to go ahead and start with Beach Day. Beach Day is a wet to dry product. It has natural sea salt in it, so that's what makes our sea salt spray completely different from other um, sea salt sprays because it, it is a natural line. How you're going to use it is you're going to go ahead and distribute it because it is like a mister. You're going to go ahead and distribute it from the mid lengths to the ends and it creates a nice texture. And the more you use it, the more it's going to go ahead and open up and you're going to feel a little bit of that grit in there to give it that beach day look that you're looking for. It's also really good if you want to wear your hair natural and your hair is a little bit naturally on the wavy side and you just kind of want it to look tousled. 
Again, you can use it on either wet or dry hair. So if you want to wear your hair natural, go ahead and put it in when it's wet to let it air dry. And if you, your hair is already dry and you still want that more of a beachy tousled look, you can go ahead and spritz that in and kind of open it up. Next, we have our Smooth and Shine. Smooth and Shine is actually a product that's best for compromised hair. I love to put it at the ends of maybe a little bit over-processed hair when I'm doing a blowout because it is a hybrid product. I always want to start off with a little bit, maybe like a pea-sized amount and kind of work it into the hair because I could always add a little bit more. This product actually does not do best on finer hair because it is a little bit like a, like a lotion. So it will weigh down the hair. So I'll just go ahead and stick to girls that have more fuller hair, more coarser hair, where I know it's not going to weigh it down. But like I said, it is best for compromised hair. It does have some argan oil in there. So she says, I don't like the way oil feels sometimes in my hair. This is a really, really good alternative because she'll be more open to maybe using like a little bit of like a lotion. So like I said, smooth and shine. It helps again if you want to do like a nice like smooth blowout and if you want to go back in with a with a flat iron just to create like a really sleek look. This, uh, this does have a thermal protectant in it so you don't have to worry about damaging the hair. And if you want to use it wet before a blowout, that's perfect. If you want to go ahead and use it dry, maybe a, a hot day before you go out and go out to the beach, you kind of want to run it through the ends, especially if your hair is a little bit processed. It's, it'll do really good. Next, I'll go ahead and jump into U oil. This U oil is really, really cool because it comes in a glass bottle. And it's actually pharmaceutical because it's the highest grade of argan oil that you can get on the market right now. What this is really good for is if your hair is wet and you're about to blow it out, you want to go ahead and start with maybe just a pump because it is so concentrated on a bunch of nutrients for the hair that you just kind of want to start off less and work it into more. It's good for any hair type and like I said, it goes back into nurturing the hair. So you, it's nothing but beneficial. And when you do it before a blowout, it'll help push, push all that extra uh, water out, all that extra moisture out, and then it'll go ahead and start nourishing the hair. And when it pushes that excess water out, it'll reduce the blow drying time to up to 40%. And it, that's really effective and clients love it when they, can hear, when they hear that they can dry their hair a little bit faster. So this is a really good product, again, to use on wet or dry hair. When you use it on drier hair, you will probably use it from mids to ends and just kind of work it through to just nourish the hair again if you're feeling like it's a little brittle, a little dry, and it just needs an extra little bit of love. From there, I'm going to introduce to you our conundrum paste. Our conundrum paste is a little bit underrated. Uh, it, because it's such a great product and it, it is a hybrid product. This product offers hold to it. So when you put it in the hair, you want to put it from the mids to the ends if you're using it wet. And you can really pull a blow dryer through it and have the hold that you're looking for. So you can, and then when you use it dry, it'll create a little bit more of a PC texture because it is a paste. <laughs> I like to say if you're looking for that like, early 2000s Mandy Moore style, this, this would be a product that you would use. Conundrum paste, your perfect hybrid styling cream. Liquid dust. Liquid dust is super cool because it is another hybrid product. And with this, it creates instant volume, instant texture, and instant hold. For this, if you're using it on wet hair before a blowout, I would probably put a little bit at that root, really over direct it with my round brush just to create that volume in there. And then if I was looking for more fullness at the end, I would go ahead and spritz it through the ends and continue to blow dry it and get that real fullness that I'm really looking for. Again, it's a hybrid product, so if I wanted to use it dry, on dry hair and she was looking for volume, I would probably 
you know, lift the hair right there at the root and go ahead and spritz it in and spritz it throughout the ends if she was looking for more body at the bottom and just kind of like work that product in. It reactivates with every touch that you give it. So the more she touches her hair right here at the root, she's gonna keep working that volume in. And if she's tossing her hair right here back and forth, she's gonna keep working that body in. So it's definitely one of our newer products. It's actually going to be renamed soon. It's going to be called Liquid Volume. And I think that name is a lot more fitting than liquid dust because volume is the key to this product. This is what it's really targeted for is just to give it that all around fullness in the hair. Yeah, liquid dust soon to be liquid volume. I will be going ahead and moving into our dry styling products. I'm gonna start with Expanded Dust. So the cool thing about Expanded Dust is that it's a dry styling product. A lot of my stylists like to use it in the hair after a good back comb because it's tacky enough to hold that product in. But something about Expanded Dust is that you're gonna to wanna to hold it a decent amount, maybe four inches away from the root because you're gonna to wanna to work that right there. But it has a free spirit, so you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and you can see how that dust kind of go up and as it goes up you can kind of like work it into the root kind of like where you need it to. But because it has a free spirit, use it generously through the hair right there at the root where it starts to kind of back comb. And it'll hold that back comb and like I said it has like a natural tackiness to it so you kind of want to reassure your client that she might feel the product in her hair if she likes a little bit of a less feeling product, I would suggest using the liquid dust, but right now the the expanded dust guarantee will hold that back comb and it will reactivate as the more she touches her hair, it'll start to rework that volume into it again. This duo that I have right here is Tricky Light and Tricky Spray. These are basically <laughs> sisters but they are not twins. Tricky Light and Tricky Spray have a portion of wax and hairspray in it, but the difference is, is that Tricky has half a portion of wax and half a portion of hairspray, as to where the Tricky Light has just a third of wax and the rest is hairspray. I always suggest using the Tricky Light before, just so you can get the feel of how much wax is going to be distributed into the hair and when you start to feel more confident in the product, start moving to the Tricky Spray because these products are some of the most beneficial products that I've used into styling hair. The reason why they're so beneficial is that it reworks itself into the hair. It re-manipulates a curl that you just put in and because of the wax when you do updos it'll just kind of smooth away all the flyaways that you have in the hair. When you're using a braid it'll smooth all the flyaways and the wax will make it still flexible to go ahead and open the braid up and place it in the hair really nicely. So these are really really good like I said to manipulate the curl again or to smooth those flyaways. Really great for updos. One of the <clears throat> one of the most versatile products that I feel like that we have. But yes, th this little duo right here. Tricky Light and Tricky Spray. Next, we have Texturizer, which is a dry finishing spray. Texturizer is by far an essential for me. I have multiple mini travel sizes either in my car or in my bag i am ready with trick, uh, texturizer texturizer has a very mild hold in it but it still has a hold in it so that style is going to last the cool part about texturizer is that it's a buildable spray so the way you're going to want to use it is go ahead and hold that about six four to six inches away from the hair and you can see with each shot of spray that comes through it that's how you're going to go ahead and layer that hold in there. Texturize it, will leave a matte finish into the hair, and it will also add a texture into the hair 
that'll make it very tousled looking. So she likes a good, more of a messy style, but still really a matte finish texturized is really good. Like I said, it has that mild hold in it, so it'll also offer that benefit to it as well. This is our Go365 hairspray. This Go365 hairspray is a product that is versatile within itself. This is one of our top selling hairsprays that we have here and because of that it has a rotatable nozzle right there so it'll rotate from a lighter hairspray to a medium hold hairspray to a hard hairspray and the client can really appreciate that when she has control of her <laughs> of her hairspray. She likes to know how strong of a hold she's going to be getting that day. It is a layerable hairspray so when you are ready for a little bit of a stronger hold you can go ahead and turn that nozzle and it'll give you that stronger hold. I may be running a little bit low on this, but you can go ahead and see that this lighter hold is a little bit of a slower stream, more of a steady stream, as opposed to the medium hold, where it comes a little bit more, more narrow. And then and when we work our way into the harder hold, it again becomes more narrow, so you can see where the distribution of these hair mo molecules are going and how it's going to affect the hold of the hairspray. Like I said, again, this is one of our more versatile hairsprays and another way, great way to use it on dry hair when you're getting ready for that day out. Girls always like their hair in the front to be a little bit more touchable, a little bit more movable, so I'll work the lighter hairspray in the front. And when I want that curl to hold right there in the back, I'll go ahead and work the heavier hairspray down there. And I have the versatile <laughs> the versatility that I need throughout my whole hairstyle in just a single can of hairspray. That's again the Go365 hairspray. Our next hairspray is going to be our Max Control hairspray. This is our go-to in the salon when we are doing our session styling or our everyday hair styling. Our Max Control hairspray is really good because it's a buildable hairspray. So that means you can go ahead and layer it and it'll still be touchable. Um, when a client comes in and she wants a curl and then she realizes she might want a, tart a tighter curl, you'll have to go back in with an iron and tighten that curl again and then put more hairspray in it. And it never adds more weight. It still feels really touchable, but it has that extra layer that you need in it. Again, all our products have a thermal protectant in there. So when if you when you need to go back in and touch the hair with an iron, it has that thermal protected so you know you're still not going to be damaging the hair. A good buildable hairspray max control. Next we have our Session Max. Session Max is your strongest holding hairspray that we have in the line. It is perfect for that editorial shoot that you're going to do. It is perfect for that bridal who is getting ready for her wedding. It is just perfect with that heavy strong hold that you need. The thing that differentiates this strong, strong hold hairspray from other strong hold hairspray is that this hairspray does not flake. So even if you're touching it, it's not going to loosen and you're not going to start to see flakes like throughout the hair or anything like that. This product is just great in greatness in itself because it just offers that strong hold that you need without the the actual looking of helmet hair that some girls might say. <laughs> so if she, she wants that hairstyle not to go anywhere, this is going to be your go-to. And again, it doesn't flake, so it's a really great hairspray to be using. Last but not least, we have our second day, um, Finishing cream Second day smells Magnificent. It's one of my favorite smelling products actually second day is Named after because second day hair is the best hair and This will give you that look that you just woke up like this without actually <laughs> Just waking up like that. 
So the second day hair is a finishing cream. The way you're going to go want ahead and work that is probably mostly from mid to ends. It does have that hold in it. So you're going to go ahead and want to put a little bit in your hand and kind of work it through and see how you're going to want to distribute that. And you'll go ahead and run your fingers through those curls or through those waves and just create that PC look that it has already been lived in. And after that, you can seal it with one of your favorite hairsprays, depending what you're looking for. But second day is a good product to give it that lived in look. Last but not least, unfortunately, I do not have it on display right now, but that is going to be our last system, which is our newest introduced system that will be released later this month. It is your Boing system. Your Boing system will be coming with its new um, detangler, which is super awesome for you curly hair girls because I, I know we've all been looking for one and it'll come with its own shampoo and conditioner which I'm already a fond of because it has chamomile in there and that's just chamomile will actually be a newer ingredient to our line but I'm very excited because I, I can already imagine it smells just magnificent and it'll become it'll come with its defining curl cream and its moisture curl cream so it'll differentiate between two different curls to really target what your curl needs a little bit more if it needs a little bit more moisture you can go with the moisturizing curl cream and if it needs a little bit more a definite curl you can go with the defining curl cream we do carry one boing product right now and it's the defining curl cream it personally smells like Jolly Ranchers to me and the way you use that one is that you'll go ahead and put it in while your hair is wet uh, Again for your naturally curly haired girls. You'll put it in when the hair is wet Go ahead and evenly distribute it the best that you can and you can either use a diffuser or you can let that uh, Natural curl cream go ahead and dry on its own naturally as you go on throughout your day Thank you so much for coming and joining me on today's product knowledge education. I can't wait to do this again and I can't wait to keep educating and learning new things so I can keep educating everybody else. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I will answer to the best of my ability and I can't wait to hear back. Thank you so much.